I got a black stone. I'm getting ready to make breakfast. I've already seasoned it. There's plenty of videos out there on how to season a black stone. I actually use a little bit of coconut oil and some nonstick spray, but that's not why we're here today. We're here because I'm getting ready to make some beef bacon and some eggs. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so I'm out here on this Blackstone. Now this is a 17 inch tabletop Blackstone. friend of mine I don't even know why he got this thing but he got it he ended up not using it he sold it to me for 60 bucks so I figure I'll try it out and what better, better way to try it out than to make breakfast right In case you guys don't know, this is beef bacon. It looks like it's a cross cut of the belly, but I'm not 100% sure. All I know is I get this from the Amish market. And if you have an Amish market near you, I highly recommend that you get yourself some of this beef bacon. Now I have the griddle turned on low, just because I don't think I need to burn or don't want to burn the heck out of this. but. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Now also, I have some vegetable oil out here at the ready. I did actually use this. This is the fourth cook I've done on this. I cooked some scallops and some zucchini. I cooked some uh, hamburgers. And then I also cooked some beef, beef bacon. Uh, this, this was all last night. I cooked the beef bacon last night as well. But today we're gonna have some beef bacon because I'm making breakfast for myself. Those of you guys that always comment about the, the glove, when I flip the glove from one hand to the other. I'm going to turn this up to medium S ish. I want a good crisp on this. Now I do have one of those flat plates. I figured I, I, I wouldn't, I didn't need it, I wouldn't use it. And just as you see, I'm, I'm using the spatula here to kind of make sure that everything is cooked evenly. But this is pretty good so far, it looks pretty good. Here's some behind the scenes. I'm getting a little B roll.
Alright. Not looking bad, not bad. So you see, this, even though this is a 17 inch griddle, and it actually does provide a lot of space. And I think if I were cooking, I probably could fit another, you know, four pieces of this. Now this is beef bacon. So beef bacon is like twice as thick as you would have like your regular pork bacon, or even a turkey bacon is bigger than turkey bacon as well. So if you guys want to see me cook some turkey bacon on this thing, maybe we can cook some turkey bacon and then, you know, another cook soon. All right, my bacon looks like it's just about, just about there, just about ready. And really what I wanted it to do was render some of that, the bacon fat so that I could use it to cook my eggs. Now we're going to be t testing my non-stick skills here to see how well I did as far as making this non-stick. And I like my eggs over hard. So those of you guys who like your eggs a different way, <laughs> that is what it is. So I always bust the yolk and... I can already see that this is sticking a little more than I want it to. I probably should have put some oil or butter down. No, not bad. Those of you guys who have these, and actually I think it's sticking on some of the, the bacon and not actually the egg itself sticking. Like the, the remnant from the, from the bacon. All right, well, this little kit that I got had a egg ring in it. Now I know why. <laughs> and <laughs> I guess that's why scrambled eggs are so popular on these things. It's pretty easy to scramble <laughs> some eggs on a flat top. Make sure my eggs are done all the way through. Like I said, I don't like runny eggs at all. I guess I did okay. I was just about to say my eggs didn't stick at all. But again, I think that might be some of the remnants from the bacon. Yeah. It's gonna be nice and crispy. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna put my eggs on top of the bacon just for a quick second. Because the eggs are done and they don't need to cook anymore. So we'll kind of take them off of the heat. Alright, well. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna go get a plate to put these eggs on and the bacon on. And uh, I think I'm gonna have my breakfast. That was cooking.
Bacon and eggs in less than 10 minutes on the Blackstone. Ah, this is, I can understand why you guys, there's a lot of you guys who really like these um, Blackstones. I could see why you guys like them. I don't know whether or not I would invest in a bigger Blackstone, like a, a full on table, because I don't have any place to put it. This one, as you see, is sitting on top of uh, Charlotte. All right, let's move that off to the side. I, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get a plate so I can get this in the house and I can have my breakfast what for those of you guys who have these uh, please comment below some things that you saw that I was doing wrong or some things that could help me cook a little better uh, like I said I used I, <laughs> you saw that? I used I <laughs> used I, <laughs> I used coconut oil to season this initially but I've seen and heard people talking about how you need to cook greasy things on your black top in order to help it to stay seasoned. Uh, <laughs> I said black top on your blackstone to help it stay seasoned. So I'm gonna, like I said, get some paper towel, drain this stuff, cause it's pretty greasy. And take it in the house. Then I'll be back out a little later. I'll clean this up. And you guys might see another cook a little later. Roll the outro. <laughs> hey look guys down below is listed the peel box if you want to send us something to try a sauce a seasoning some jerky feel free something funny something for us to try send it to the peel box below it's always listed in the description but thank you for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe join us on wednesday night at 9 p.m eastern we go live for two hours in the first hour, we talk about barbecue or something barbecue business related. The second hour, come as you please and bring your flesh. And we talk about anything. And then we talk about anything. All right. Well, not her, but me. So. Sometimes you, I peek. peek yes, you do. So you want to tell them, thank, thank them again for watching? Thank you again for watching. And we'll see you. Oh, I'm sorry. And please do subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you, Bye. guys. Bye.